The scanner, called a beam device, was developed at Purdue University in the United States with an initial focus on the U.S. market. The only device of its kind outside the U.S., it has since been offered free of charge to Associate Professor Stephen Ahn of Lincoln University in Canterbury, New Zealand. This initiative was a result of a partnership between Dr. Ron, a taxonomy expert, specializing in classification, especially of organisms, and two senior U.S. food safety researchers. Taking research further Dr. Ron recently received an $80,000 Catalyst grant from the New Zealand Royal Society Te Aparangi to use the scanner for local-focused research that will complement the studies already being undertaken in the U.S. Lincoln University said the resulting data will be pooled for maximum global impact. The beam scanner is designed to better identify disease outbreaks by providing a specific fingerprint of bacteria cultured on a standard Edgar media plate. This allows scientists to pinpoint strains of interest more quickly, with a particular focus on pathogens, if there's an outbreak of E. coli or salmonella, for example, you may have dozens of samples to examine. The technology provides the major advantage of identifying the pathogen of concern by rapidly screening it from microorganisms naturally present in food or clinical samples, said Dr. Ron, because it's non-invasive, you can take your isolate of interest and further characterize it with subtyping methodologies to better identify an outbreak, no comparable technology is available elsewhere, it's a game-changer, how it started the project with the U.S. experts began after Dr. Ron visited Purdue University in Indiana in 2015, to investigate whether the beam technology would be relevant to New Zealand. Results, some of which involved 26 pathogenic E. coli strains important to New Zealand meat products, were promising, they showed the potential value of beam to national problems and indicated that the method might be capable of identifying E. coli strains with a higher infection potential than others, said Dr. Ron, this is a first in the history of underpinning beam research. The U.S. researchers involved are endowed cytometry Professor J. Paul Robinson, at Purdue University, and Professor James Lindsay, Senior National Program Leader for the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Ongoing work Dr. Ahn will continue to collaborate with the U.S. researchers to examine a geographically diverse range of strains of microbial species that are of clinical and economic importance to New Zealand and the U.S., he said the economic and public health significance of pathogenic E. I remained of critical importance and partners of the New Zealand Food Safety and Science Research Centre, including ESR and Plant.